What I'm going to demonstrate here is how you can use name ranges in formulas. Creating named ranges is very easy and very useful, especially if we want to write formulas. When you create named ranges in Excel, you can use these names instead of the cell references. For example, you can use equal sum sales instead of equal sum A1, A5. Overall, there are three ways to define a name in Excel. Name box, define name button, and Excel name manager. First, let's create three named ranges for these three columns. Highlight these cells, and in the name box, type quantity and return. Similarly, create named ranges using the other two columns with the names unit price and total sales. Now go to cell B21. We want to calculate the sum of the second column. Type in equal sum parenthesis, quantity is the name of the range, close parenthesis, and enter. OK. One more example of the total sales range, and we are ready. So as you can see here, we have a powerful tool that you can use in formulas. Now let's open the workbook, constants.xlsx, to show you how to define a name that refers to a constant. There are some constants, like VAT, that would be better to store them using a name and use them in your formulas. Also, it would be nice to change the value of a constant at any time. For example, a VAT or a tax can alter many times via the government. You will use a feature called Define Name. You can find it from the Formulas tab and Define Name section. Press the Define Name button. Now type in the name, in this case VAT, into the Name field. You can specify a workbook as the scope for the name. Click the Refers to field, delete its contents, and replace it with a simple formula, such as equal 16%. Click OK to close the dialog box. To try, it highlights any empty cell and type equal that. Look, it returns 16%. Of course, you can use it with a combination of functions. For example, go to this cell and type semicolon equal B6 multiply VAT. If VAT has changed, go to Name Manager, Edit, and change the field's value, and press OK. Keep in mind that the new value will be used to recalculate all the formulas that use this name.